and my heart started beating very, very fast. And I was really scared. Before we took off, the pilot's assistant showed me the bars on each side and he told me that I should hold those bars. Hello, today I want to share with you a story that happened to me in 2008 and it's all about getting out of the comfort zone, the importance of getting out of the comfort zone. I call this story, Get Comfortable Being Uncomfortable. This story that I'm gonna share with you always comes to my mind when we are talking about getting out of the comfort zone. In 2008, I was attending to the National Championship Air Race in Reno, Nevada. This is a very interesting and fun, you know, aviation event. It's a one-week event in the high desert of Reno. There are hundreds of airplanes and their pilots, you know, come for the air race. There are six racing classes. So this is an event where you see the latest technologies being launched. It's very interesting. It's a very competitive environment. You see pilots taking care of their airplanes all the time until it's time for the race. So as most aviation shows, there are performance, uh, performances by you know aerobaric pilots and they are always a great attraction to the public. The company I was working for was sponsoring an aerobaric pilot that was going to perform there. So he came to our booth one day and he told me, Anna, I want to give you a chance to experience an aerobaric flight. So if the weather is good tomorrow, come prepare to fly with me. I had flown several small two-seat airplanes in the past several times because you Usually my customers, they want to show me their new toy. That was a big stretch for me already, <laughs> but I never did aerobaric flight before. So I didn't feel comfortable with that situation. So we left the show that day and I went to my hotel room, you know, just thinking about the chance to fly the next day. So I love a sunny day like today, but I never prayed so hard for a bad weather day. <laughs> I was afraid of doing that. It was something completely out of my comfort zone you know I wasn't sure how my stomach would react to that and I didn't want to embarrass myself <laughs> so I woke up in the morning and first thing I did was check the weather hoping it had changed but unfortunately it didn't so I had breakfast with the whole team and we left to the show on our way to the show I started feeling my stomach wasn't good so it got worse as we arrived at the show and when we were finishing opening the booth the pilot came and said it was time to go for the experience so I left the booth with him in a golf cart and we went to the flight line where the airplane was parked. I didn't tell him that I wasn't feeling well, you know. It was a big challenge to me, but giving up wasn't an option. I had to face it and so I did. <laughs> so we took off and, you know, we spent some time looking around the area until he told me he was going to start doing some maneuvers, some aerobaric maneuvers. Then I thought about my stomach and my heart started beating very, very fast. And I was really scared. Before we took off, the pilot's assistant showed me the bars on each side and he told me that I should hold those bars, you know, during the aerobaric maneuvers. So as the pilot started to do some nice maneuvers, I made sure I was holding that bars, those bars, you know, very tight. I have no words to describe the experience. Then after a few minutes, he said, Anna, let's have some fun. We will fly upside down a little bit. And I thought, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can survive to this. Then he turned the plane upside down and I quickly closed my eyes to avoid seeing the worst. And I kept my eyes closed for a while and he was flying until I heard the pilot asking me, isn't it a beautiful view, Anna? He didn't know I had my eyes closed. So this was a tandem airplane, which means that the two seats are not side by side. They are, it's one seat behind the other. And I was in the front seat and he was piloting from the back seat. So I felt forced to open my eyes so I could answer the pilot. When I opened my eyes, I saw the most wonderful view of the desert. It was so amazing. That moment, something happened to myself. Something shifted in my brain. I felt so fortunate. I was up there experiencing something amazing that only few people have a chance to experience. I was looking at the desert, at that beautiful desert from up there. 
you know, having the most amazing feeling. I suddenly became brave that I regretted the few seconds that I wasted with my eyes closed. We were flying like birds, doing all kinds of maneuvers, and I felt that I had wings, you know, that I belonged to that nature. Freedom was the word that came to my mind right away. It's such an amazing feeling. It was unforgettable. And I'm so thankful for that amazing pilot that provided me that experience. After a while we landed and the adventure came to an end. I did the most amazing thing I've ever done in my life. And it was something completely out of my comfort zone. And the feeling I had was the best reward. I'll never forget it. This situation forced me to do it. And thank God I didn't say no to the challenge. Remember, when you avoid facing obstacles and challenges, you are also avoiding facing opportunities. This is really important. So work on yourself so you can be comfortable being uncomfortable. I hope this story inspires you as much as it did to me. And next time you face an obstacle that you need that's pushing you to get out of your comfort zone, try it. Be brave. Feel the fear, but do it anyway and you won't regret after. I promise you. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you back soon.